Hey, it's, uh, this is Brad. Yeah, hi, it's Steve Morgan. Did I catch you at a good time? Do you have a few minutes? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, good a time as any, uh, Steve, uh, Steve... Morgan? From New Jersey. Oh, yeah, sorry, must have, uh, spaced a second there, uh, You get my latest offer on the Olsen trailer. I did, and you've got a deal. I'll take it. You're sure? You haven't even uh, seen it in person yet. Oh, yeah. The pictures on your website are good enough. I'm sure it'll be fine for what I can do. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, when can I expect you? I'll be getting in late tonight, uh, probably around 10 o'clock. Well, hey, can you recommend a place to get a bite to eat at that hour? Sure. Uh, Smitty's Diner off the exit from the bypass will be open. I recommend the uh, patty melt, unless you're trying to watch your... Uh, <laughs> Thanks, I'll check it out. Uh, so should I see you for my keys when I get in? <laughs> Not if you're getting in at that hour. I'll leave the keys inside your trailer. The door will be unlocked. Wait, you're just going to leave it unlocked? Yeah, it'll be all right. Uh, this ain't no crime-infested hellhole like Newark. Point <laughs> <laughs> taken. Uh, oh, uh, I I've got another call coming in, and I've got to take this. So I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay, later. Bye. <clears throat> Steve Morgan. Uh, hey, Steve, I'm on my way out to the Hamptons in the morning uh, to get a jump off the weekend. So I thought I might take you out for a little send off tonight. Uh, would you like to join me for a drink at the club? Oh, uh, gosh, Mr. Henderson. Uh... Thanks for the offer, but uh, I'm already on the road. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, think I'm in Indiana. Indiana. Oh, too bad. Too bad. Well, set for your move out to the boonies. Well, set for your move out to the boonies. Yeah, I uh, just got off the phone finalizing a deal on a place to stay. Nothing too permanent, I hope. No, it's just a, it's just something for the time being. Oh, good, good. Oh, we really appreciate your flexibility in this week. Well, I know you're not looking forward to this move, and I think it's going to be a good opportunity for you to gain some visibility corporate wine. What you do out there will not go unnoticed. Well, that's exactly how I'm looking at it. I didn't take this assignment for the fresh air and scenery. So can I count on you to be at the beach house for the Labor Day clam bake? Sir, I'll be in Illinois. Oh, Book a Friday meeting and stay for the weekend. Everybody's going to be there. I've already reserved tea times for everyone. And I'll make sure there's plenty of room for you. Wouldn't hurt the senior staff to see your face back here now and then. Unless you're afraid of missing the pig races at the county fair. <laughs> How do you know about pig races? Oh, well, I spent uh, my time in the land on, on my way up. Just, just like, like you. Floyd Hill, Iowa. Iowa. So, uh, if you do well out there, I know what a sacrifice you're making. There'll be better things for you when you get back here. That sounds good to me. The sooner the better. Well, this too will pass. I've got to get going to going out to the Hamptons tomorrow to get a jump on the weekend. So I won't see you before you leave. Got a safe trip and stay in touch. Will do, sir. So long. Well, I'm mobilized. And a little hypnotized. That's why I'm mobilized. Mobilized. <laughs> Cause my mobilized, 
just need a favor, that's all. What now? Well, I gotta get to the dentist this week. This tooth is really hurting. I thought I could wait until next payday, but I can't. Could you quote me 50 till next week? Just till next week? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm having deja vu here. Why did you not pay your share of the pad fee last month because of that very same dentist bill? First off, I don't see why I should have to pay half the pad fee when I don't even live there anymore. Don't change the subject. You guys played poker last night? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> you lost again, didn't you? That is the one form of entertainment I get to enjoy after working hard all week. Did you guys play for pennies or something? Pennies? We're men. We ain't gonna play no penny ante. You're gonna have to be man enough to wait till you get paid to see the dentist. Ask him if he can run a tab for you. He won't do it anymore. Come on, hon. This really hurts. Don't make me go on suffering like this. All right. Lucky Tips was good tonight. Got a big old busload of seniors going to Branson. They don't tip much, but there was a whole lot of them. You just better get out of here before Smeek sees you. You know we don't like you coming in here unless you're ordering something. I know. I'm on my way in. Thanks again for the... Just pay me back this time, okay? Red Bud Mobile Estates. Sure, again, that's right where I live. 
you just go straight out this road headed to town and it's about three quarters of a mile on your left hand side. Oh, well that's easy. You must be that guy looking at the old Olsen trailer. Yeah, how did you know that? Oh, honey, <laughs> everybody knows everything about everybody else in this town. I hope you're not planning on keeping any secrets. Well, I guess not. I'm Steve, Steve Morgan. I'm going to be working out at the aggravate plant. You must be the new plant manager coming in town. Wow, ah, well, I'm impressed. You probably know what brand of boxers I'm wearing. <laughs> so, uh, so what's your name? I'm Connie Crook. I'm Connie Nichols. I am Connie Nichols. Are you sure? He's going through some changes now is all. I, I better get Smitty started on your patty mill. Well, it was nice to meet you, Connie Nichols. I guess I'll be seeing you around, neighbor. 